Prima Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Among the general public, the Air Mobility Wing is one of the least known units of the South African Air Force. Keith Campbell has the story. Little known it may be, but the Mobile Department Wing is one of the most important formations within the South African Air Force. It comprises 140 and 142 radar squadrons, 501 protection squadron, the Mobile Communications Unit, an 18 deployment support unit. The Wings Officer Commanding, Colonel Eddie Cruz, explains what his formation does. The Mobile Deployment Wing is responsible for the transportation and the deployment of all ground support to Air Force operations. Um, that will include the deployment of tactical air bases, the transportation and movement of ground support to uh, uh, flying squadrons, but the big emphasis will then also be on the deployment of command and control systems to support such operations. The command and control system that we talk about is uh, mainly the deployment of communication systems to ensure that all the various parts of the exercise is in connection with each other. Then also with the deployment of radars and the deployment of sector control centers and control other control facilities to uh, do in-flight and ground to support in-flight and ground command and control for such operations. 140 Squadron is a long-range AR-3D radar system which is used to give long-range radar coverage to the Defence Force as and when required. We are a deployable radar in the sense that we can move it around the country as and where we are requested to give a radar coverage. It is all mounted on trucks which get towed to wherever we need to go. The trucks all have 4x4 capability that we can actually get into quite inaccessible areas. Uh, the squadron's sole purpose is to provide the low technical radar capability for the SNDF uh, in service and for joint operations uh, operations for SNDF and then uh, the capability the squadron is currently situated with is that we have uh, a TMR mobile radar also known as a SONIC. It's a low level radar. It is equipped with a, a OPS pellet, an antenna as well as a transmitter pellet. Uh, they are transported uh, mobily with an 8x8 uh, main vehicle. We are responsible for safeguarding of people and asset of mobile deployment wing, Sorkop Airfield, um, Lexatu, Sorkop West, and Base Hill. Dogs mainly they are used for patrols. We patrol all these units that I mentioned earlier to secure our premises. Uh, we are the provider of a mobile communications unit for the SAF and the wider SANDF and uh, the type of uh, equipment that we have is uh, we have microwave radios, we provide us of HF, UHF, FM and VHF AM uh, communications. We have done uh, thus far last year internally and externally uh, close on to 60 uh, deployments. Externally, we're currently involved in the DRC and uh, to a certain extent in Mozambique and internally uh, all other operations uh, with regards to rhino poaching and, and the anti-piracy as well. The role of um, 18 DSU is, is, is largely logistical support to the South African Air Force um, inside the borders or outside the borders of the country with regards to mass freight, uh, of equipment uh, and also when, when, you, when the requirement comes to, to put up a camp, a tactical air base to, to put up tents, give accommodation, uh, give a mess, mess facility, uh, 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 accommodation where people need to sleep, also to uh, we look at the domestics, uh, uh, plumbing, electric, electricity and all those supports. To, to help assist uh, the Air Force when we do a deployment. Other news making headlines this week, Samsung honors the first crop of electronics graduates from its academy. Foreign investment is key to sustaining African growth and a survey finds that black economic empowerment is a priority for companies. 
Samsung Electronics Engineering Academy's first class of matriculants graduated last month at a ceremony held at the Alberton Civic Centre in the East Rand, Gauteng. A flagship Samsung CSR initiative focuses on developing young skilled leaders in Africa through skills development and employability programs. The Samsung Electronics Engineering Academy aims to deliver 10,000 electronics engineers across Africa by 2050. The Academy provides hands-on vocational skills training for grade 10 to 12 students in state-of-the-art facilities with relevant course modules including a syllabus that is 20% theory-based and 80% practical that aligns to the local government educational curriculum. Ernst & Young Africa CEO Agent Sita says Africa must ensure that it improves its attractiveness to foreign direct investments, including from other large emerging countries, if it is to sustain its growth and development. Infrastructure is the lifeblood of growth in Africa, in fact in any economy of the world. So here we're talking about road, rail, power, telecoms and, and other uh, infrastructure instruments that allow the economy to operate successfully and productively. There's no question that greater investments in, that, in infrastructure will grow the productive capacity and capability of the economy. Advisory firm KPMG's 2011 Black Economic Empowerment Survey results have shown a significant improvement in participating company scorecards. The overall findings are that we've over the last six years of the survey, we've gone from an average of 37 points out of 100 in achieving the codes, all the way up to a fantastic 67 points. And uh, that overall upliftment has taken the participants from a level 8 all the way up to a level 4, which has a significant effect on preferential procurement. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insight into South Africa's real economy.